Let's get down to business. Here's a question from vectors, okay? And in particular, the significance of this problem is using vectors to prove results in geometry, okay? Now, we know vectors are motivated by their applications in science and engineering, in physics, but there's also nice mathematical ways of using vectors to help us better understand uh, the ideas. So I'm just going to talk about this problem. This is a, um, a pretty famous problem. We've got two shapes. And in this particular shape, so we've got a quadrilateral on the outside. And here, these corners bisect those black um, sides. Okay, so when I put a mark like this, I mean that length is equal to that length. Okay, this length here is equal to this length here. This length here is equal to this length here. And this length here is equal to this length here. We're asked to prove that the shape formed by the line segments in red that bisect the outer four sides is a parallelogram. Okay, so we want to prove that red shape is a parallelogram. Okay, so I'm going to um, label some of the corners of this of the shapes involved, and I'm going to look, uh, label the corners of the red uh, shape as well. Okay. Now, using vectors, how can I prove that that red shape is a parallelogram? Anyone know? How can I actually do it using vectors? What, 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 are we try what, what would be sufficient to show that that's a parallelogram? Yes? OK. The vector from E to F equals the vector from H to G. Is that, is, that an, is that enough? Is that all we need? OK. Well, if you wanted to, well, what, what's parallelogram, right? They've got two, both the sort of opposite sides are parallel. Yes? So I would even go one step further and say the other, top, the other two sides should be the same as well. OK? Yep. No, it, no, it could be a quadrilateral, because can have, I can have a rhombus, something like that. No. You've got to have the opposite sides parallel. Right? You with, you with, you with me? So hang on. So, so what I'm trying to prove here, right, is that this, right, and this. Yes? Yep. Yes. Ah, uh, okay, all right, I get what you're saying now. Yes, okay. Yes, that would be another way of doing it. Okay, very good. Okay, I don't think you said that before, right? So, I, I, I'm not sure if you said that before. Okay, or you might have. I, I might have missed it. Okay, that's right, that's good. Either, either way, it's good. Okay, you should, you, should, you should say stuff. Okay, so, how do I do it? Well, remember that when we're adding and subtracting vectors, we use things called a triangle or a parallelogram law. Right? And when vectors are parallel, they're just a multiple of each other. Okay? So let's say I'll, um, I'm going to prove, say, EH equals FG. Okay? So this vector here is equal to this vector here. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay? So you can probably do this a number of different ways, but I'm just going to use um, the following. By the triangle law of addition, right, I can write EH in the following way, right? EH is just EA plus AH. So these two vectors are drawn sort of, so the head point of, uh, the tail point of one of them is at the head point of the other. Right, so if I was sort of to draw the vector there and draw the vector sort of there, all right. 
Now you can always check this algebraically. Okay? Even if you can't understand the triangle rule, rule for addition geometrically, all I have to do is cover up those two inner A's and I should have what's on the left hand side, right? EH. Okay? So, uh, what I'm going to do now is express EA in terms of this vector here. Okay? Now, why is EA half of BA? The vector EA, why is it half of the vector BA? Anyone know? Yes? Yep. That's right. So, so, so BE and A are collinear. Yeah. So, you know, the vectors have to be parallel, right? And, you know, the lengths are, are equal. So, yep. All right. So, so EA is just a half of BA. Yep. And AH, same with that one. AH is the half of AD. Yeah? So what is this then? Well, I can take the common factor of halves out and I can apply the triangle inequality kind of in reverse here, or the triangle rule for addition in reverse. All right, those A's are going to compress down to that. Okay? Now, to show that this is equal to FG, let's work on the FG and go through pretty much the same processes, right? So let's describe that perhaps in terms of that vector and that vector. Okay. All right, and then you can do the same, same sort of thing. Okay, FC is a half BC. CG is a half CD. Okay, you can, pr can compress those down to a half. BD. Okay, so you have these things equal. All right. Uh, what is it? E F G H. Okay, so what do, we say, what do we mean when we say two vectors are equal? They have the same length or magnitude and they have the same direction. That's pretty much all we're saying. Now, that's a classic example. I remember when I was a first year university student, not, well, actually, not that, <laughs> quite a long time ago. That, that came up on the end session exam. I still remember it. Okay? All right. 